was like in college, and there was a sign in, in, the, in a music store on A Street, a Street Music, and uh, it said um, something like, drummer looking to jam with other musicians, you know. And I didn't know anybody in Philly. I didn't even know where the clubs were. And so I answered it, and it ended up being this friend of mine, Peter Gaudioso, who's a great drummer in Philly. And he was uh, good friends with this guy, Dan Peterson, and they all kind of met, and we met, and so we would get together on a weekly basis and play. And then Dan was really involved with uh, Odin Pope's like workshop student band at that time in West Philly, 43rd and Chestnut. And uh, it was a saxophone choir, basically. And so I started going to that, and it was like 14 saxophones and me. And uh, I did that for several years. And uh, you know, through that, met a lot of people and started playing. Kind of got to know the Philly scene a little bit more. Yeah, I had a couple mentors. Well, Odin, of course. I mean, he, he was uh, so supportive and such a great teacher and such a positive like person to have in my life at that time. And really patient and uh, taught me a lot about ensemble playing and harmony and melody and you know all kinds of things, rhythm. And so, in addition to him, I was also studying with uh, Dennis Sandoli. And uh, I studied with Dennis the year for a year, and then he uh, got too sick to teach, and then he passed away shortly thereafter. And that was really great too. He was uh, a very forward-thinking teacher, you know, and would give his materials were really uh, advanced and uh, challenging. You know, and certainly challenged me as a guitar player to better my technique and practice a lot. And so, in in a way, even though he was really quiet, he didn't talk a lot. He was sort of a mentor to me, also. I met Matt in 1997. I had a workshop in Philadelphia at uh, the Interculture Family Services at 4225 Chestnut Street. And it was in 1997 that I met Matt, and he's always been the same kind of person. He's a very energetic, and he has a, uh, he's a great, just a great talent. And I'm happy to be a part of his life. For the young musicians, uh, we talked about this briefly, uh, it's very important that you get a very good instrument. Most people will tell you to get a second-hand instrument or a used instrument, that's a no-no. Make sure you get a new instrument because i tell you why that's so important. If you get a used instrument, the low B-flat might not be working properly, the G-sharp might not be working properly. Next thing, make sure you get a good copy to teach it. In fact, I would suggest getting maybe two or three teachers to get maybe two or three different concepts of what each teacher is doing and how they are doing it. And it's very important from time, even right now, what I normally do, I'll go back and study with Ron Rubin, who is the principal player with the Philadelphia Orchestra. I always go back periodically and try to seek information. It's very important that all you young musicians as well as the old musicians try to get as much information and learn as much information as you can about not only music, about everything you do in life.